Hey everybody, Ron Burke, Editor-in-Chief for GamingTrend.com. I've been using Feutex gear for quite some time. All of my Steadicam shots are made using this gimbal right here. This three-axis gimbal is fantastic. It's got a programmable button here. It's got a touch screen. It's very easy to use, but it is, even with this stand removed, kind of bulky. It's also a challenge to use like this. Puts a lot of strain on your shoulder. It is just heavy. And unfortunately, unless you add yet another attachment, it's hard to grip it like so. So Feutech went back to the drawing board and decided to come up with a new product to address all of these problems and more. So without further ado, let's unbox the Feutech Scorp and see what's inside. This is another one of those products where I'm not gonna be throwing the uh, instructions to the side. I do like that they included this soft side case. That's handy for putting it away when it's not in use and keeping it protected. So underneath here is a nice spot for your accessories. You can keep protected under here as well as a cloth to clean. Don't use it until you balance it. Anybody who's used a camera before knows that. And there it is. That is significantly smaller. We'll do some comparison shots. So that's nice. It includes both size plates. Uh, this is handy when you have a, uh, a longer lens, like the one that's on this camera right now. Bag for holding all your accessories. Although realistically, I'm gonna put it right back in here. There's also this box, which is all of the accessories and cabling that you might need depending on your camera. So there's your hardware for mounting it to these plates. USB-C cable. This is for when you mount a longer lens. The lens sits on top of this and can be turned using the mechanism inside the gimbal. And then we have a wide variety of different adapters for various camera models. So in all, it looks like you pretty much have just about any type of connector you could possibly need for just about any kind of DSLR that you might be using. Compared to Feutech's own AK2000S, you can see that the profile on the Scorp has been completely redesigned. It's significantly smaller, and that more compact size should make it easier to use in the field. So let's take a look at some of the new features. So one of the first things that I noticed is that this touch screen, which, as I mentioned, can be a challenge to use when in this mode. It's difficult to reach this touch screen without losing your control of the camera. And all of the functionality was on that touch screen. Now, that touch screen has been moved to the rear and that can be used while the device is being held one-handed with or without that second hand. That hand can be up here, running the tilt and pan controls, as well as the function buttons, which a lot of functions have actually been moved onto the surface of the device, which you can see kind of moving around. We'll, we'll get much closer to this in just a moment, but it's got a few other tricks. Like its previous model, this little tripod can be removed. We'll set that aside. So you can obviously use this like so, but you can't really set it down that way. This one certainly couldn't be used that way, but they've also built in another little set of feet, letting this go really low profile, just like so. The next step is to compare a balanced camera on the Feutech AK2000S, as well as the same camera on the Scorp, do a little bit of running around, and compare the footage. So, we'll be right back.
should come as no surprise that the Fayutech Scorp did a fantastic job at the Call of Duty Kickoff League. It's far easier to use than its predecessor, as you can see by holding this at arm's length versus holding this, if you will, by the tail. We also found a couple of ways to make it even more compact with these small arms that deploy right here, which kick the weight of the camera rearward and allows it to stay secure. Unfortunately, there was one thing that proved to be insurmountable, and that's the application. This device does control entirely by this screen on the back. However, there is an app for your phone, at least if you're using an iPhone. On the Android store, there is no Fayutech Scorp app, not that I could find. And the one app that I could find that mentioned gimbals does not support this device at all. On the App Store, I was able to download the Fayutech Scorp app, which was great because it allowed me to update the firmware for the motors and the servos, but it's riddled with bugs, it crashes, and it's just full of misspellings and pages that are still untranslated from Chinese. So if you're using an Android device, you're probably gonna have trouble, and currently there's no way for you to update your firmware, that is a problem. There are two different models of the Fayutech Scorp. There's a Pro model, which costs $659, and will support about 10 pounds of camera plus lens, or any other accessories that you need to run, and has a removable tailpiece, if you will. This portion comes off and can be used as a remote control for setting up a panorama shot when you're away from the camera itself. The non-Pro model, just Scorp, is an enthusiast model. That's this one. It'll support about five and a half pounds of gear. Obviously this tail portion is not removable, but for just about anybody's use, this is more than sufficient. It'll cost you $429. Both of these devices, let me fold these up here, have this low slung sort of scorpion-like, probably hence the name, right? Uh, approach for ergonomics for lower shots. This can corkscrew a full 360 degrees until the battery runs dry. So that's far easier to use and far easier than trying to do the same thing with this Fayutech AK2000. This is just tiring on the arms and this weighs significantly more. I've also had a lot more jerkiness with this particular servo model when I'm trying to do low shots. So overall, a drastic improvement with the Scorp and it actually costs less than this model. There are two other areas of concern with the Fayutech Scorp, and it's really been since this AK series that they started doing this. The battery in this device is charged via USB-C, but that means that this battery is not user replaceable. That ties the use of this life for this device to this battery. When this battery is dead, unless you have a skill in soldering, you are stuck. Unfortunately, this also only has a one year warranty. So for me, I'm gonna pick up a square trade warranty to ensure that if this device does fail, I have support. Even with my concerns over the battery and the one year warranty, and frankly, that terrible app, I still recommend the Fayutech Scorp. And there's one reason. The ergonomics on this are off the charts. This is incredibly easy to use. It's far easier to balance than anything Fayutech has ever made prior. And quite frankly, it's allowing me to get shots that I never thought were possible with these shaky hands. And in the end, isn't that what it's all about? I'm Ron Burke, Editor-in-Chief for GamingTrend.com. Hit GamingTrend.com for the full written review on this particular device and many more just like it. Thank you very much. Stay safe out there and we'll see you again very soon.